Good day everybody. I want to show you some of my most used keyboard shortcuts. I use these continually while painting. Uh, there are lots and lots of keyboard shortcuts you can use and you can customize everything but the few that I use the most boil down to about six or eight and these are them. The first is to resize the brush so you can see my cursor in the middle of the screen. If I hold down the control and alt key it turns this nice little cross and I can interactively, while drawing on my pad with the stylus, increase or decrease the radius of the brush. You can notice that the radius size is displayed above. So when you get to the size you want, you simply let up the keys and you keep painting. You can also use the bracket keys. If you'll notice up here, when I hit the left bracket, I go down. When I hit the right bracket, I go up. So that is keyboard shortcuts for resizing. When I am painting along and I want to sample the colors, I simply on a Windows machine hold down the Alt key and you can see it turns into the eyedropper and I can select a new color. Hold down the Alt key, select a new color, hold down the Alt key, select a new color, hold down the Alt key. If you're on a Mac, it's the Option key, just as easy. Hold it down, tap with your stylus, hold it down, tap, and pick the new color that you want to use. I often also find it necessary when I'm painting, especially if I'm zoomed in a little bit more, to be able to scroll the image around. That is as simple as holding down the space bar. You get the little hand and you scroll the image around to wherever you want. The next command I use a lot is to rotate the canvas. I hold down the space bar and the Alt key on a PC. It turns the little finger and I can rotate the canvas any way I want. Let up and paint on it at whatever level I want or whatever rotation I want and rotate back. It will snap into the vertical, but if you find you're off, hold both down and tap. If you're working on a Mac, the keyboard shortcuts are similar. It's the space bar, option, and drag. So in PC, Spacebar Alt and Drag, Mac, Spacebar Option Drag. And the last thing I want to show you is the front rocker button of the Wacom Stylus. If I click that down, it brings up this whole menu that shows me all of the brushes that are in the category that I have currently selected. It gives me the option to reset a, or set a default variant restore a default variant or save a new variant. I can also increase or decrease the size. Most of the time I will simply use this to select a new brush. Then again I can resize it and I can paint away. So those are back there the shortcuts that I use continually while painting. Learn them, they're easy to remember and they will increase significantly your ability to paint quickly in Corel Painter.